When I was diagnosed, I was about 40 years old. I had a two-year-old son. My wife was six months pregnant with our second son, and this hit us just totally out of the blue. When I got into the doctor's office, he sat me down, and the first thing he told me is, you have leukemia. And at that point, I don't remember anything else that was said from that appointment because I was in total shock. It felt as if your life just falls apart at that moment. What you have as hopes and dreams are suddenly gone. The first standard treatment in 2008 was putting a patient on Gleevec, or imatinib. That works for a majority of patients, and it has a fairly high success rate. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to 90% patients will respond to Gleevec. From a milestone perspective, I reached the hematological response in 30 days, which is generally considered a good response. So we were very hopeful, even after the first 30 days, that Gleevec was starting to work. Unfortunately, the next test where they go into the marrow is at the six-month test. I still was 19 out of 20, which meant that my factory hadn't changed anything. I still had my disease burden had stayed the same, even though I had received a, a hematological response. That was extremely disappointing because we had suddenly developed some hope seeing a hematological response, and quite frankly, my doctor was very surprised to not see a corresponding cytogenetic response as well. When I failed Gleevec at the six-month mark, we sat down with my doctor and we talked about what options I would have. There were some excellent drug choices on the market, but unfortunately they did not work for me. In one of the forums that I monitor, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, a woman posted that she had been on a drug trial and, and she had received a complete cytogenic response. And she was in the same position I had been in where she had failed the previous drugs, she was being prepared for a transplant, and here she's sharing her results were fantastic after three months on a new experimental drug at the time called AP24534. They gave me my first dosage of panatinib. I was started on 60 milligram, which was the dosage that they started the patients on for that cohort. So the main concern was, would this work on my marrow? And in six weeks, my disease burden had gone down from 50% to 4%. So I had what's called a one log reduction, a tenfold disease reduction. And it happened right before Christmas. And it was probably the first time I, I felt like I could breathe because now I had some indication that this drug was working. And my cytogenetic response at three months was what's called a complete cytogenetic response. So when I started the trial, 19 out of 20 of these dividing cells were bad. At three months, zero out of 20 were bad. And it was confirming that the drug was having a very deep response and a very quick response. I achieved my complete remission at about two year mark, and I've been able to maintain that for the past couple years. When I look back at my path and my journey, I realize I was very fortunate to be at the right place, the right time, and hopefully with a drug that will keep me in remission long term. One of the great parts about the trial, and I've been very fortunate to have, first my doctor was Dr. Diane Jur and then Dr. Morrow. I have a, a team of doctors that have also not only been treating the CML, but looking out for me in the part of the trial. The doctor sat my wife and I down and said, what are things that you may have hopes and aspiration for outside of just getting a treatment? And we mentioned that one time we may want to consider having a third child. So we worked through the paperwork and made sure to do um, donation, sperm donation, so that we have that option down the road because you can't father children while you're on these drugs. And thanks to the drug, I can be a perfectly normally functioning dad. I have a full-time job. I play soccer and do everything that I want to do in life, and there's nothing holding us back. I walked into not knowing much about what a trial was like. I had to learn working with my doctor. But what I have learned is that it is the one opportunity where you can give hope back to a patient. And there's no guarantee that it will work. And very often you see things like it extends a patient's life three months, five months, 12 months. But those months matter. That's time where you have maybe five more months with your children. You have it with family and friends. That is time where there is no price you can put on that to give someone hope. And they don't always work, but some do have some benefits. And once in a while, it hits a home run. And you get a drug that can return you to almost complete, back to where you were previous to your diagnosis, and allow you to live a completely normal life. And that's where that hope comes from, where 
As a patient, you hope that that drug will work and you want to give it a chance.